Assassin's Creed Mirage is real, Zelda rumors are surfacing again, and the Halo Infinite feature is dead. Following a handful of leaks, Ubisoft has officially announced the next game in the Assassin's Creed series, Mirage. Unfortunately, that confirmation is all we're getting today, and the company has said that more details will be shared during the September 10th Ubisoft Forward. For the time being though, we can just look at the leaked information to get a decent picture of what we can expect. Mirage will reportedly star a young Basm a character from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and will show the events leading up to when he arrived at the Hidden Ones. The game will do away with dialogue choices and the ability to select a gender. The game will reportedly take place in Baghdad in the late 800s, and will also be a quote, return to basics with no leveling. This back to basics approach is inspired by 2007's original Assassin's Creed, a game that Ubisoft is allegedly making a remake for. This alleged remake will be part of Mirage's season pass and there will also be Constantinople DLC. According to the reports, Mirage will launch in spring 2023. To be honest, this sounds like an Assassin's Creed I'm going to be skipping. I'm far from a purist, and I was really enjoying the way that Origins through Valhalla was going. So to go back to the old way of doing things, uh, it's just not, it's not something I wanna do. I don't know if I can do it, but either way, on September 10th, I'm gonna be tuning into the Ubisoft Forward because you know, FOMO is real. And if you're a Nintendo fan, then you'll wanna pay attention to the week after the 10th because a source told Jeff Grubb of our sister site Giant Bomb that the next Nintendo Direct may be held in the week of September 12th. Grubb discussed the possibilities with Mike Minotti of GameSpeed and Mike said the rumored event will include the announcement of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess ports for Nintendo Switch. Both games were already updated on Wii U, but they haven't been re-released on Switch yet. Whether or not this is a general Nintendo Direct that includes details on franchises outside of Zelda remains to be seen. Grubb went on to say that a Metroid Prime remaster is also in the works and could be announced at an upcoming Nintendo Direct. Dear Nintendo, I know you're watching. I am prepared to hand over a blank check for Wind Waker on Switch. I will pay whatever you want me to. Just give it to me, give it to me now. But that's enough of my desperation for a game I've never even beaten. Let's talk about some Halo Infinite news. Halo Infinite developer 343 Industries is growing and improving the game in a number of exciting ways, but unfortunately for some, the promised local couch co-op feature has been canceled. According to 343, it is choosing to allocate development resources elsewhere, aka the game's live service. Whether or not this is a temporary or permanent shift away from developing local couch co-op is unclear. Either way, it's a bummer. Especially because 343's Bonnie Ross confirmed years ago that all future Halo FPS games would offer local couch co-op after Halo 5 Guardians dropped the feature. As for what is coming to Halo Infinite, the game's biggest update ever, the Winter Update, launches on November 8th. It adds the much requested Match XP feature, thank god, <laughs> a Forge beta, online campaign co-op, and more. Looking out even further, Season 3 Echoes Within is coming in March 2023 with the Bandit Rifle and more. Match XP might get me back to playing Halo Infinite. I don't know, we'll see come November. Let me know what you think of today's news stories and if you're excited for Zelda, Halo, or Assassin's Creed, or all three. I'll see you tomorrow.